Nigeria has now taken a shift. They have left killing, normalized killing, that even though a president is not fighting insecurity, as far as this president is doing every other thing, meaning the country is going in, meaning everything is going well. Are you kidding me? Is this how Nigerians has come to be reasoning that people are dying every day, even in the Federal Capital Territory? Yesterday, almost 37 people were kidnapped. The other day in uh, Ogun State, even the home state of the president, almost three communities have been occupied by Funda Elites men. They chased the, the settlers away, the original owners of the land. People dying in Plato, people dying in Kaduna, in Bono State, from across the country. The insecurity is ranging and Nigeria couldn't even talk about insecurity. They are talking about cutting cost of first ladies convoy, an office that does not exist. They said that that is what the president is doing, that they like it. Oh my God. I, I, see, it's like we have been psycho conditioned. They, they have hypnotized us. This is not ordinary. That in a country, people are napping for president, for cutting cost of an office that does not exist. Why people are dying and people are knapping for him? I, I don't just get it. People are knapping for president that president appointed someone who has been indicted of corruption as a minister and the person continued to loot and he suspended the person. People are knapping for him. Who have done this to us Nigerians? See, this is the same thing Buhari did. Buhari told us he want to tackle corruption. He arrested so many people. He did all sorts of things. See, the main corruption is in the presidency. What happens to the first subsidy he removed? Why is he paying the subsidy at our back? What about the money they are borrowing? The money Tinubu have borrowed supersedes the whole money um, Buhari borrowed in two years. Where is the infrastructure? See, people, I don't know, I don't know the adjective to quantify the state of condition they have made Nigerian to be reasoning. Now, the people who are dying, I really want to know if we have two classes of human beings in Nigeria. Just imagine if we lose 100 people hmm, and we have about 100 and something senate. Just imagine we lose 100 senators. It's equivalent. All souls are the same. All souls are the same. It's equivalent that we lose like 100 senators. If we lose two people, it's equivalent that we lose president and vice president. I want people to begin to think that people are dying. I want people to begin to reason, to know that these people that are dying, they did not deserve it too. It's not their cause. It's not as if they, these people took gone and they went to rob and they killed them. These people peacefully and living their life, the only crime they committed is that they are Nigerians. They came to life as a Nigerian. That is just the only crime they committed. And Nigerians are shying away with it. And that is why I'm drawing the attention of Nigerians back to this. I'm trying to draw the attention of people back to what is going on, what matters. That is what matters. All this palliative, doing all the pretending, it doesn't matter. If it matters, Tinumbu will not budget only 5 billion for students for four years and budgeted 6 billion for CAPAC for the senators. Nigerians start reasoning. Start reasoning. This is, they, they have hypnotized us. It is time for us to start reasoning. They budgeted just for an office maintenance of the Secretary of Government of the Federation, 10 billion. Why the whole budget to support students loan? To send students to school, why we have so many out of school children in the north? It's just 5 billion. Why to maintain one person's office, 10 billion? Nigerians begin to reason. Something is wrong with our brain. Something is wrong with us. How can we draw the attention of people? But is it because your mother, your father, your brother, your sister is not dying? Is it because your people are not dying? Okay, how, how do you want us to make you understand what is going on in Nigeria? How do you want us to make you understand? So that is the situation and we must set the record straight and we must make people to understand that this is what is going on. Please, even though you don't like this video, even though you like it, help me share this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. I don't care about your comments. I saw so many comments the other day. People, yeah, people are even cursing me for talking about insecurity in Nigeria because it's not affecting them. That is what we are saying. The same character with our politician. But don't worry. Continue to comment because I don't care. So the, the record must be set straight and we must continue to say the truth. Thanks for listening.